So, hello guys. We are said to answer the problem number 2 which is the determine the parents I1, I2, and the ID2 for the network below. So, here's our diagram. The first step we need to do is we need to identify the diode if it is turned on or turned off. So, since the positive side of the voltage source and the diodes are connected, so it means the diodes is on, is turned on. Yeah, the diode is turned on. So the second step is we need to identify we need to know how much is I1. To know how much I1. Since the voltage voltage across the diodes is 0.7 volts. So the formula of I1 is equals to VK2, which is the post potential diode over resistor 1. So I1 is equals to 0.7 volts over 3.3 kilo ohms. So the value of I1 is equals to 0.212 milliampers. So the third step is we need to find or we need to find the value of I2 which is the total current. So in order to find the I2 we need to use KVL which is the formula is V2 is equals to E minus the identical voltage across the diode which is VK1 minus VK2 so V2 is equals to 20 volts minus 0 0.7 volts minus 0 0.7 volts is equals to the is equals to 18.6 volts which is the value of the voltage across the R2 so since we already have we already have the components for I2 and the formula of I I2 is equals to V2 over R2. So that means I2 is equals to 18.6 volts over 5.6 kilo ohms. So the value of I2 is 3.32 milliampers. And lastly, we need to identify the ID2. Since we already have the I1 and the I2. And the formula of ID2 is ID2 plus I1 equals I2. In order to find the ID2, we need to transpose this I1 to the left right side or to the other side. Then ID2 is equals to I1 minus I2. Sorry, here it is. ID2 is equals to 3.32 milliampers, which is our I1 minus 0 0.212 milliampers which is our I2 so the value of our ID2 is equals to 3.11 m milliampers that's all thank you